I had to do it. $10 bourbon. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Thicker Liquor. My name is John and in today's video I want to check out these $10 bourbons, really $11 bourbons, so forgive me I said $10, but they're $10.99, $10.99, and $9.99. Uh, so that's what they are, 10 bucks. Bottom of the drawers here and I don't know too much about them. I do remember drinking this before. I, I didn't think it was that good. I have a little bit more of a refined palette at this point so maybe that will be a little bit different you notice that both of these are Jack Daniels style uh, bottles this one in particular uh, the Zachariah Harris uh, is all of these are Kentucky bourbon this one benchmark number eight that's pretty funny like uh, old number seven for Jack Daniels 80 proof and both of these are Sazerac And this one is also 80 proof. And the old Fitzgerald is a little bit different, also 80 proof, but it is from a different distillery, old Fitzgerald distillery. So all of these, Louisville, two of them are from Louisville, one of them is from somewhere nearby. I'm sure it's probably close to Louisville. Yeah, all right. Well, I'm like not really that excited to try this, to be honest with you. Normally, like my mouth is watering. I just feel like I'm just going to get some horrible stuff. You never know. It might surprise you. But uh, when you look at these colors, I mean, it looks exactly the same. I feel like they all came from the exact same place. They just put them in different shaped bottles. And But let's find out. Let's start, let's start with this one. The bourbon by which all others are measured. This is the benchmark, number eight. It's uh, McAfee, that's what it says up here on the top. And distilled by Buffalo Trace, of course. Let's give it a whirl. All right, what am I getting out of benchmark old number eight? I mean, for $10, for real? Uh, and I've seen some videos, people have gotten found like some $6 whiskey and bourbon and stuff, but, um, who knows? It does not have a very appealing smell right off the bat. The nose is not, it leaves to much to be desired. I'm trying to uh, match it up with something I've had that would we would know like a quality bourbon. Very bready uh, uh, to the nose like bread for some reason I smell like wheat bread yeah uh, come on that's drinkable that's drinkable I gotta tell you what though, I like the taste better than I like the smell. It's something, something funky about the benchmark. You know what I mean? It's like been sitting around or something like that. Like a little stale, stale-ish smell. The smell is not, to me, I, I, it's not very appealing. But in terms of taste, that's pretty good. That is um, 10 bucks. What's up with that? This benchmark, this old number eight, this was an old Seagram's uh, product from like the 60s. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. Cause you know what? I'll be honest, I think that's what it is. Cause look, I just recently had some Seagram's here. Uh, I was trying out something with that and kind of getting that same, same smell. Uh, let's move on to Zachariah Harris. We laugh at this because one time we went to a store and we saw this on sale. It was like $8.99 and I was telling my buddy that 
that's the whiskey we're gonna give them for the whole weekend. There's another one with a kind of a funky smell. I'm gonna let it like sit for a you know for a little bit. Whoa! Come on, bro. Cheese. Wow. I got ripped off at $10. This stuff is I'm sorry, that's terrible. I mean, Benchmark made an attempt. You know, this is actually decent. Got high hopes for the old Fitzgerald here because these two, yeah, this is, I don't even want to try this anymore. I know I'm giving this bottle to. Um, yeah, I don't even know if I'd want to mix that in drinks, to be honest with you. It almost smells like, it's got like rubbing alcohol or something in it, you know? It, it doesn't burn like rubbing alcohol, but it, it's just something there. Yeah, that's not, that's not great. And it leaves kind of like a bad aftertaste. So not, not my thing. Sorry, Zachariah, your bottle's cool and all, but you know, maybe somebody else will appreciate that. Not for me so far. Benchmark got, that is the benchmark so far for $10 bourbon. That's what I'm talking about. All right, on to old Fitzgerald. All right, old Fitzgerald is not gonna let me down. All right, let's go. Now we're gonna do the old Fitzgerald. Now old Fitzgerald's been around since like 1850, so like 170 some years. They should know what they're doing when it comes to bourbon, right? Old Kentucky, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, original sour mash, and what they claim, their claim, because they all have like a little claim, they make the best sour mash that has ever been made. All right, I can't wait to see this. Let's see what it smells like. This was the most expensive originally of the bunch, but it was on sale, so it went below these two. But I think normally this is like, I don't know, $11.99 or something like that, $12.99. You know, it's got a, it's got a smooth, like, Irish whiskey uh, kind of taste to it. I mean, I'm sorry, smell to it. Even the smell here is not like, oh man, you can't really smell like there's no, you know, it's trying to like give you some fruity smells, but it's just not there. Bottoms up. You know, it's got some zing. It's the only one of the three that's actually got like a, got some stones, you know what I mean? So, uh, I don't know, I gotta go back in for another one. This is a sour mash for certain. It's, it's definitely different than, you know, just your caramely, vanilla-like uh, hazelnut stuff, you know, all the good things that people are using in the bourbon and stuff. This is um, certainly different. Prime bourbon, it says. It's actually not bad. If you like a good sour mash or like a heavy corn whiskey, it'd probably be all right for you. And you pay 10 bucks or whatever, 11 bucks. The winner, benchmark. Setting another benchmark. That's what they talk about. The bourbon which others are measured. Cheers to the benchmark. All right, everybody, thanks again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learn something. Uh, Fitzgerald will be pretty good for mixing drinks, 10 bucks, that's not a bad deal. Uh, this guy, come on, do yourself a favor. You can spend five or six dollars more 
and get something a little bit nicer but if things are tight you know what i mean this would be the guy that i would prefer over this guy for certain all right everybody thanks again for watching this video uh, i hope you had fun and uh enjoyed watching the content i sure had fun this stuff is pretty interesting uh, don't forget to share like subscribe if you do me a favor go down and click that button down below that'd be awesome and uh i had fun hope you had fun have a safe and wonderful weekend if this is your weekend watching this video otherwise I'll catch you next time Take care later. hustle out hustle every single day i'll be making moves till i'm buried in my grave to the system i don't want to be a slave i've been doing shit my way or the highway and